Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Ki hal chal? I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we're going to see from maximum amount of money robber, rob, robot can earn. Now, as you read this problem, just one thing, that question 3 is already live. Now, in this problem, you are given a M cross N grid, which means this is the corresponding grid which is given to you. And if I just draw some random grid like this, this is a corresponding M cross N grid and robot starts from the very top left corner. This is the starting point and this is the corresponding ending point. Starting point is 0, 0, ending point is M minus 1, comma N minus 1. And the robot can move either right or down, either right or down. Now, if after reading up to this much point and especially this line, if a hint of DP did not strike you, which means you're not watching my videos and maybe you had not watched the videos. It's again, it's a simple strike. If you would have got it, good. Again, I'm not saying DP will be applied here, but still you should have at least got a hint. Okay. Is it in a DP problem? Again, I, I haven't even read the problem now. I'm just re reading one line. That's it. Cool. Let's continue. Now, the grid contains some coins. Okay. At each place, I have some specific coins. Okay. Now, if the coin is more than equal to zero, then robot will simply take that coin. Okay. That's very, that's a very simple case. But if it is less than zero, which means that the robot um, has encountered a robber, and the robber steals absolute value of these many coins. So if I have a minus five here, what will happen with this minus five? As the robot will move here, the robber will snatch away five coins from the robot. So whatever robot has collected so far, out of that collection, robber will snatch five coins from him. This is the value of negative, or this is the inference of the negative number. Now, the robot has special ability that he can neutralize at most two cells. So, in this entire path of traversal, he might encounter some negative cells and those negative cells represent a robber and in this entire path, he can neutralize at most, at most or at maximum two robots, or sorry, two robbers, which is two cells he can neutralize. Now, uh, like the robot total coins can be negative. This is one such case that it is a possibility that uh, my robot is coming, 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 coming here. And he is being robbed so much that uh, his values are negative. That's also possible, right? We have to return the maximum profit the robot can gain on the route, which whatever route he will take. Here the profit is eight, what he can take. Here the profit is 40 and that's it. So one thing is very simple. We know it's a grid iteration problem, which is simply DP on grid. Um, and now the only special case is that the robot will move right or down, which is a standard case. The only special case is that uh, he will also have to make sure a K. What is this K? K is that how much, how many, how many robbers I can dodge. I can dodge. Like it simply will say, that okay right now let's say if he was moving here here like this what if let's say he was moving here 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 like this and let's say he dodged one robber here then from this point onwards he can only dodge one more robber that's it so i will have to maintain that how many number of robbers he can dodge now this is the only extra thing Remaining thing will remain as is. What, 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 what I mean by as is? As is I mean that for any robot, he has two options. Sorry, if I just remove here. Yeah. If he has two options, either he will go right or down. And then I will simply get back the maximum amount of coins what I can get. So how will the condition look like? Let's see. Let's simply start visualizing and writing the corresponding code. Obviously, we know 
if it would have been a simply dp on grid we would have a simply simple dp state of mn but now i have to maintain k and k can at max go to a value of like either it can be no no options remaining when i say options i mean no dodges remaining or one dodge remaining or two dodge remaining so i can have this as my corresponding dp state now let's write the solve function i am at a specific index i comma j with a specific k value k says how many dodges are remaining with me obviously as we start on we will have a base case base case will say okay what if my i is less than 0 or if my j is less than 0 or if my i is more than equal to m or my j is more than equal to n although although you will see that you will have to from your main function you will start off by saying okay rn starts solving from the first index i comma j with the initial dodge value of 2 that he can dodge two robbers so technically this cannot become negative because i will only be moving right or down so this will not become negative but still it's of no harm you can just put it now in that case simply you have to return something now that's also a question what you will return for you the task for you to is get the maximum profit so my dp again this is my when I, like whenever i say solve function i will call this recursive function right so this should return a integer value integer represents maximum profit now if i have reached some invalid state i should return some invalid value which will minimize my profit because i want to achieve maximum profit in, in invalid state give me a random profit which is which will give me minimum so i can say minus infinity right uh, again in the code you will see that i have put up as, as negative negative is minus infinity okay now now obviously the case what is the case like obviously we will have that uh, what if we have the corresponding state with us now what to do like usually we do something like this that return dp of i j and k this is what we do but as the problem mentioned that the robot coins can be negative so it is not safe to put a minus one here although you can put a value which will never be there or better just put it a null so now in um, in java you can have this as null how it is possible when you make this as a integer array which means so this dp will actually nothing but integer of something like this right thus you can make it as a null so i put it as integer right rather than having a perimeter i'm actually having uh integer itself okay so this is the corresponding case now comes the fun part what is the fun part but uh, like aryan uh, i guess you still forget one very basic base case yes there's one more base case obviously which is a very basic case that uh, when i have reached the very end that is my destination if i have reached my destination which means my i has reached m minus 1 and my j has reached n minus 1 then do something but before we go on to doing what let's again the same thing will actually do or actually will be followed when i am at a random location let's say here so imagine that i am here which means my if if i just zoom it out if i just zoom it out and let's let's bring the zoom picture down below so this is my zoom picture let's let's bring this picture here so this is my zoom picture again i just zoom that specific block of i comma j now i told you i have started my iteration from this point which was zero if if you remember let's let's imagine this is a zoom picture right so some zero comma zero would have been here and i i i want to reach the end which is m minus one comma n minus one so at any point in time i will be at this location i have only two options either go right or down let's see that what will be the actual recursive case how it will look like again i am not explaining you oh, just do a try and all that stuff no that's a shit thing all also in contest you cannot do that specific stuff that's not required with your existing knowledge how you build up the corresponding code that's what required is intuition and stuff i've already given you you have to apply db you have to maintain the state that's it what else what else is how to write that specific code that is the biggest challenge here let's see how again not a biggest challenge easy easy challenge not easy also depending on from person to person but yeah let's see the code first very first thing is that get me the current coins 
how many coins I have at this location. Now you might ask RNY why? Because the current coin indicate will I need a robber or not? Sorry, will I need my power or not? Power, I have two powers or I should say I have K powers. K power, which means I can do K dodges. If the current coin C is itself positive, which means no, which means no power required or no dodging required. So in that case, I will simply say that uh, for the specific state, my result, or I should say this is my, let's say result, my result will be stored in DP of I, J, K. So I will say, okay, this is the, this is the current which I will consume coins. I will consume because I, I have the positive coins and I will, I can just consume them. I, I, I will consume them. And then what? Obviously, go and ask your right and down to give back you the best possible answer or best possible coins. So, I will just simply go and ask them, give me the best possible coins sum. So, this which means I have to compute this. Which means to compute this, I will simply say that the best possible, the best possible count will be maximum of left or down. Sorry, right or down right or down which means that you have to compute the right how simple just compute and say okay right value will be nothing but solving the same thing from i comma j plus one with no k reduced and again uh, giving the coins as an array but that is not here and also this is right down will be same thing solve for this thing i comma sorry, i plus 1 comma j, i plus 1 comma j with the same k value because again, same k value because this c was positive. But now you might say, Aryan, should I put this in the if condition? Uh, yes, you can put it, but then you will have to repeat the same thing. I will tell you why. But yeah, that's the only crux of this question that how you will actually structure this. The essence is the same. So you got the best cost which you will get from your children at that best cost in you which ultimately means that from this point i added my cost and then i asked that okay from right or down what is the best cost which we which we can get and recursion will handle that how this will go that okay as as you reach here how it will go right or down or as you reach here how will you go right or down that will be handled by recursion okay that is the case when the c was positive and that is a very happy happy case what if the c is negative which means let's come to the else case and the else case is the fun part if I, I am at the else case, again, I have two options. What are two options? Two options is either I will pay to robber or I will use my power. I will use my, I will use my power. If I pay to robber, again, when I say else case, else case says C is less than zero, which means I have to pay the robber the absolute amount. So I will simply can say if I pay to robber, my cost will be if I let's say pay to robber, my cost will be whatever I could have got from my children, my children are right or down, whatever I could have got from my children, considering I am not using power at my point i comma j, I will propagate the same k value to the children, which means that whatever best I could get from my children and my cost. Again, I'm adding this cost because this is negative and adding a, neg adding a negative number will only reduce the value. This is when I pay to robber. Okay. If I don't pay to robber, which means I will have to use my power. In this scenario, I will have to make sure that my k is more than zero. I should have some remaining power left to dodge the robber. So I will again go and find what is the what is the best possible thing if I dodge right now. But if I dodge right now, my k value will reduce. That will not still remain this specific k. No, if I if I use the dodge right now, this k will now become k minus one. So I'll do the same thing that I will find my right to and I will simply say solve for i comma j plus one but with a reduced k now. Same way I will found the down to go and solve for i plus one comma j but with a reduced k now. This is now if I just say my uh, 
I should say best two. Best two. Let's say best two will be maximum of right two comma down two. This is my best two. So this is my corresponding best two. Now when I dodged the current robber, when I dodged, so how much will be my cost? When I dodge the current robber, which means this C will not be added, which means the best, best was, as you can see, best was the same thing previously. So if I dodge the current robber, this is the best to only. I, I, I don't have to add C now because C was added because you have to pay the robber. But now I dodged him. So I am not adding any cost. So now the here, here the cost is best to. Here the cost is best to. But this is the best to cost when you dodge the robber. Here is the cost when you pay to the robber. Take the maximum, whatever can give you the maximum. So um, like, you know, you are skipping the robber. Let's say you skip the robber. So this best to actually skip. So when you skip the robber, you get this possible cost. So get me the maximum of Either I pay the robber or I skip the robber. Get me the max of this. So this will be my actual cost, which is DP of IJK. So now you realize that if the C is positive or zero, this is the cost which I can get. Again, best possible cost or best possible score or best possible sum. If the C is negative, this is the best possible score which I can get. Right again, this is entirely thing is from here up till end, it is entirely for negative, and this thing is entirely for positive, and thus we have achieved a corresponding answer. Let's see the quote, it's exactly what I showed you when I was telling you how to write the corresponding conditions. This is exactly the same code, also, which we will write. Let's see the code. Um, if we go firstly above, we know that uh, we have our DP here. You will see I have initialized the integer. Right? And you know that uh, integer will help me to put the values as null. Right? Then I will simply call my solve function. My solve will have a simple case. Again, this negative is minus infinity. As you can see, minus infinity. Then I again, this is exact same case. If it is not null, simply assign, simply return the value. Again, yeah, I forgot the specific case. Now, when again, let's 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 focus on the actual rec recursive case which I showed you. If the thing is positive, if the C, the cost of I is positive, then simply return it. If negative, then have the exact same condition. Now, coming on to the base case, if your I is if if you have reached the end cell, exactly same condition. If it is more than zero simply assign that value if it is less than zero if if the k is positive okay just skip that thing else just make sure to you you which means that uh, if you cannot skip it so you have to bear that cost and ultimately you will simply return that so these conditions can simply be derived from here by how it would look like cool and ultimately because of this the time will be o of as you can see, you are trying to have a state of i, j, and k, n, m, sorry, m, n, and k, k is 3. So time comes to is o of m into n into 3. And also space will be o of m into n into 3. Cool. I hope you guys got it. Again, the question is easy, but writing corresponding code and conditions might be a bit tricky. Bye-bye. Take care. Please, if you liked it, please like the video. Bye-bye.